Hey, what's up guys? Chozo Nomad here. The .23 update dropped today, so that means a bunch of little performance tweaks, improvements, R&D, changes, this, that, the other, bits and pieces, all that fun stuff. Um, but I'm not going to get too much into that because if you follow Enter Elysium or anybody like that, you know that they all have special access and they get to have all that fun stuff before any of us can get our awesome hands on it. So uh, I'm not going to look too much into all that. Instead, I'm going to you know, play around the pieces and bits that we get. And I'm going to build this little six-part SSTO. This is based off of uh, Scott Manley's little six-piece slash seven-piece airplane that he made uh, back in the day. Whenever he made it, I forget. I don't know. Anyway, it's based off of that. And I'm using the new Rapier engine, which is that hybrid engine that they've introduced. It's both an air intake and a normal rocket engine combined into one. And as such, you'd think they'd have to make it incredibly inefficient because it's using both systems in order to keep it balanced. But that is not the case. The efficiency or the ISP of the air breathing engine is actually on par, if not better, than the other two air breathing engines that we have available to us. This one peaks out at about 23 to 2500 ISP, I want to say, when it's all maxed out. It actually has a little thing that says peak. They've done a bunch of little, little tiny UI changes to which I really like. It's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so aside from the air breathing engine of the Rapier being incredibly efficient, um, the rocket engine portion of the Rapier engine is actually also rather efficient. It's kind, it's almost actually on par with the Aerospike. And the Aerospike, it's, it's, it's a powerful engine, but it's not the most efficient, but it's still relatively good for what it does. And to have all that combined into one system that you don't have to distribute it amongst a bunch of different other pieces and bits of the plane and make it all complicated and whatnot, um, is really nice to have. But it, from, in my opinion, it kind of just, it takes the challenge out of building an SSTO because that was one of the things that made an SSTO system so incredible was the fact that you had all these complex components that you had to keep track of and all this stuff. And when you finally got it into space, you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, but that it, this engine kind of just, it takes that away a little bit, for me at least. Um, I'm still going to use it because it's a freaking awesome engine and it's a lot of fun to use and it looks really cool. Um, when the effects are working, the like exhaust for the air breathing engine is like all orange, and then for the they call it the closed system or the rocket engine, it's all like bluish and awesome looking. Uh, anyway, that's my thoughts on the Rapier engine and a little bit on the 0.23 update. And that's all I have to say. I guess I'll see you guys next time. It's been Chozo Nomad and signing off.